Welcome back to my channel, my beautiful YouTube fam. Welcome to any new viewers. If you are new here today, my name is Anna Mae. I post new videos every single week about home, fashion, and lifestyle. I am very excited for today's video because I am doing a home video and it's been a hot minute since I've done a home video. Today I am specifically going to be sharing with you all some tips on how to decorate your studio apartment. If you don't live in a studio apartment, I still think some of these tips and ideas are applicable. I just really kind of wanted to focus on smaller spaces, how you can really create a homey and cozy feeling without it feeling too small. I think especially right now a lot of people are working from home so it's very important to create a space that you love, that you feel comfortable in and I know for me I live in a studio so I work from home, I eat here, I sleep here so for me it's important to have a space that really makes me feel welcome. Okay first and foremost plants. If you're like me or was like me, I could not keep a plant alive to save my own life. Um, so if you have a hard time keeping plants alive, these plants that I'm going to share with you right now are super awesome for beginner plant moms and dads, for beginner plant parents. Uh, so the first one that I have that I've somehow managed to keep alive, knock on wood, is my fiddle fig leaf. Plant, um, and she is growing, she is thriving, it is so easy to take care of. There are so many videos on how you can take care of these plants. I water her once a week and I don't touch her, I leave her in her pot, I haven't repotted her at all. Admittedly, I do think they thrive better in tropical environments, so for me, living near the beach is a little bit advantageous. I'm not sure how well this plant would do in cooler areas, but the fiddle or fig leaf plant is an easy plant to take care of. Uh, the next one is almost impossible to kill and that's the pothos plant. I love this plant. I think it just makes a really kind of bohemian look to your apartment if that's the kind of style or design you're going for. But this plant you can really water once a week to almost up to two weeks without watering. So it just really depends, but I keep an eye on these plants. Some of the leaves will fall off, but at the end of the day, pothos plant has grown so long since I first moved in. I'm so proud of it. And I actually added another one above my bed on my shelf. Uh, and then the next two plants that I have are a ZZ plant and a aloe vera plant. And these ones are really easy and not high maintenance to take care of. So if you don't already, I would suggest getting plants, even fake plants, if you really don't want the responsibility of having to water them all the time. So next, I am going to be talking about oil diffusers. If you have seen some of my previous videos, then you know I have been recently making the transition away from candles and into using oil diffusers. And and for today's video, I am actually partnering with Vitruvi, which I am so excited about. So the next tip I am going to talk about is the smell of your home. I think one of the first things that a person notices, whether it's yourself or you're having a guest over, is the way that your home smells when you walk in. One of the main reasons that I switched from candles to essential oils is for the health benefits. A lot of candles can release toxins into the air, and while it might smell good, it's not the best for you. Essential oils is a great way to make your home smell good and also receive all the health benefits benefits of that. With Vitruvi, what's super awesome about their essential oils and their blends is that they are paraben free, and cruelty free, free of other sulfates and other bad ingredients. So that is one reason I love essential oils. And you can not only just put them in the diffuser, but you can actually use the oils on yourself, on your skin for health benefits as well. Haven't heard of them already. I will link the description to their website in my description box below as well. That way you could take a look for yourself, but they sell the most beautiful and high quality the essential oil diffusers and also essential oils and blends to go with their diffusers. Not only that, I think the diffusers are beautiful in and of itself. Vitruvi has gorgeous diffusers made of porcelain. I personally went with the terracotta color and it just looks so beautiful in your home. I personally like to keep mine in the kitchen just because it's kind of the center of my studio. When I walk past it, I can smell it, uh, but at nighttime, I might move it closer to my nightstand or if I'm in the bathroom, I'll even put it in the bathroom as well. Well, it is such a pretty decor piece. I have had some guests here already and they do ask me a lot of questions on where I got the diffuser. So as you can see, I have so many different blends from them. My favorite one right now at this moment is, is the Velvet. So this one is a blend of frankincense, bergamot, and amber and I just think this one smells so good. And then they actually have one called Sleep and I do put this one on at night. And this one has lavender, frankincense, chamomile, vet vetiver, and lang lang. 
I hope I pronounced those right. All you have to do is add in like 20 to 25 drops into your diffuser, add in some water, and push the power button, and it has a really pretty light at the bottom of the diffuser as well. Smell really sets the tone for your space, whether you're looking for something relaxing, inviting. Sometimes certain smells or scents can bring you back to a certain memory or a place. Uh, so with Vitruvi, I feel like you can really accomplish that with the blends that they have. There's so many different options to choose from, and you know when you are purchasing these blends that you are getting a really high quality product and same with the diffuser okay so next up this is my own personal preference so depending on what your studio apartment space is like maybe you don't have a closet I would highly suggest getting a clothing rack uh, now I am very fortunate to have a walk-in closet in my studio apartment which is really weird to say i did get the clothing rack for aesthetic purposes i really wanted to have a rack in the background of my videos and i also love clothing and fashion and i think it's a really pretty way to highlight your new pieces or your favorite pieces and i just bought these really nice wooden hangers to really highlight my favorite items and i just get so many compliments on it people do think it looks really cute in the background of my videos which i was very excited about and i actually got my friend into purchasing Purchasing her own clothing rack as well even though she already has a closet but yeah I just think it's a really pretty aesthetic complimentary piece and it's very functional if you don't have a closet in your studio apartment already so this very last tip isn't necessarily a decor or decorating suggestion uh, it's more of a to-do but definitely keep your apartment or studio space clean clean as you go just because studio apartments can be so compact that if it gets messy your whole place will look messy. So if you can, clean as you go, make your bed first thing in the morning. Easier said than done to keep my counter spaces clean and clear of any mess. Everything in your apartment should have a spot. Everything should have a place, a designated area, which I know is hard to do sometimes if you're limited on space, but that's one thing that I try to make sure of. That way my space doesn't look so cluttered. If things are clear on the countertop or if you put things away when they're supposed to be put away then I promise you your space will feel more welcoming more at home and a lot more clean all right my friends that is it for my video today thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and of course don't forget to check out Vitruvi I will go ahead and link their website in my description below they have the most beautiful oil diffusers and best smelling essential oils and blends I hope you found these tips helpful and I will see you guys again in another video video soon. Bye.